Hello, lovely people. I'm Declan Gill of the Solar Society Opinions. The one place where your opinion counts, the land of opinions, can bring sunshine even on a cloudy day. Today, I'm going to celebrate the 50th anniversary of one of the greatest cop shows ever put on television, Hawaii Five-0. The show aired on the 20th of September, 1968. A little bit of preparation before that. Creator Leonard Freeman was on or and or in Hawaii after heart trouble, but he couldn't afford to take a break. He had to work. It's not great for a man who's just had a heart attack. So, contacted an actor by the name of Richard Boone. They were devising a show called The Man. They sent the script to CBS, News Network in America. They said change the title 5-0. Hawaii is the 50th state. It's actually just a clever little tidbit. I'm going to give you a couple more through it. Richard Boone didn't want to do it. Next, Gregory Peck was considered. Didn't want to do it. They asked another guy, Robert Brown. No one really knows who the fuck he is. And ultimately, they arrived at a perfectionist in the name of Jack Lord. Not his actual name, stage name, but clever. Script went to CBS, the show was born. The pilot aired 20th of September 1968, starring Jack Lord, Steve McGarrett. Unknown actor Tim O'Kelly in the pilot played Danny Dano Williams. He was later replaced by the son of Charles MacArthur and Helen Hayes. The guy's name is James MacArthur. Yeah, Tim O'Kelly, he just wasn't great. And I'm sorry, but the dude actually looks like a fucking monkey. He had a DJ playing Kono Kalakaua Zulu was the guy's name. He was actually pretty good. Kind of fast for such a fat man. In the show, supposed to weigh 245 pounds. I got teeny little feet, size 13. Yeah, you know what they say about guys with small feet. Then, you had a 22, no, 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 my mistake, he, his character was a 22 year Honolulu police veteran. He was, he was an 18 year Honolulu police veteran. At first, he wasn't interested in the show, but his agent convinced Cam Fong to audition for the role of the villain of the series, Wo Fat. But he ended up getting the role of Chin Ho Kelly, the last of... The small unit. Let's be frank, it was probably the best choice for him. He got the part without actually having to audition. Goes in, the creator takes one look at him, double take looking at the director. Says to Paul Wenkos, the director, there's Chin. It's actually interesting where Leonard Freeman got some of the names for the character on his show. Chin Ho Kelly. He was named after the man who owned the Ilikai Hotel, where in the opening shot, Jack Lord of Steve McGarrett was filmed. I just found that kind of interesting, and there's a restaurant in downtown Hon Honolulu called Wow Fats, where he got the name for his character, Wow Fat. He died... Halfway through the fifth season, was unable to see his show go the distance. It lasted 12 years overall, 1968 to 1980. Jack Lord, a perfectionist, kept the show going. Millions upon millions of people still watch this show today. Millions upon millions of people have visited Hawaii. Just to see all of the shots that have been done. And the show actually came back onto television in 2010 and is still going. Your new cast is Alex O'Loughlin, Steve McGarrett, Scott Cahn as Danny Williams. He's actually the son of James Cahn. Interesting, both Danos are sons of veteran actors. Daniel Day Kim from Lost was cast as Chin Ho Kelly this time round. I think it was Star, Star Trek Enterprise where Grace Park came from. She is cast as Kono in the new series. Michelle Borth as... McGarrett's girlfriend, Lieutenant Catherine Rons. Obviously, characters have been updated, etc., etc., etc. Some of the minor characters <clears throat> from the, 
the older series. Quan He Lim, a judge. I think he is now deceased. He played villains for most of his time. And he actually went up to creator and asked him, Why? Why, why do you keep picking on me, Zrilin? Is it because of my good looks? <clears throat> no, it's because you're so evil looking, Quan. Funny. The guy who ended up playing the governor, Richard Denning, he was contacted by then Governor Greg Burns, believe it or not, said, I want when you to do a good job playing me in the show. Glenn Cannon came to Hawaii to teach acting and, well, he found opportunity knock out his door. Local people were cast on the show all throughout, making this one of the greatest things to watch on television, because most of them weren't professionals. That's all I have for you lovely people today. If you want to leave a comment down below, give me your opinion on this, what I should review next, feel free to do so. Subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, don't forget to give me a like.